So what we're looking at is a carcaridon carcarius. Um, are you still holding with five million years old? Or are you thinking it may be a little younger, perhaps? Well, they've been doing some studies on it over at the uh, University of Florida at the Florida Museum of Natural History, and it's running between four and six million years old. And this is uh, collected in the Sakako, Peru area. Sakako, Peru in 1988. And it's the only white shark uh, fossil skull that we know of in existence. And estimated to be about six meters or 19 and a half feet. Yes. And all the vertebrae are here, but they're not in this section. They're it's not really here deep. because they, ex they extend out quite a ways. And uh, these come out so that scientists can study these if they want to. And so all these are, these are loose. And approximately how many vertebrae are there total on this particular species? Have you counted them? In this particular specimen, there are 45 vertebrae. 45? And, uh, yeah, and... And is that complete then? Is that what it would be? No, have no, had? that's about half the shark. So you think it would have had probably around 90? Mm hmm. I guess around 90. You can see the rows that are the teeth that eventually would have moved forward. Yeah, there's at least six rows, seven rows and some. Is enough known about the great white to know if, we know this was likely an adult specimen because of the size, but do we know enough to know if, uh, if it was still eating well, if, it, if, if the teeth represent anything to do with a dying of old age or just something else happened? Well, it's hard to tell. Uh... Uh, I really have no way of knowing, but there is not a great deal of wear on the teeth. And then in comparison, if you look at the uh, great white vertebrae compared with the carcaridon megalodon, the, the meg. Quite a difference in size. <laughs> and would you turn that sideways just for a second, just to give them the, yeah, see the size difference? And you can also see the rings on the vertebrae too. Um, and these really correspond to growth rings, and in that particular vertebrae there's about 30. So we can deduct that probably the meg was about 30 years old. And is the uh, Florida Museum of Natural History still doing any kind of test to see if they can learn anything from studying those growth rings? Oh yes, they're, they're still doing studies on many of my fossil vertebrae, and um, they haven't really come to any deductions yet, but uh, they're working on it, I'm sure they will. Okay, well, thank you.